How's it going ladies and gents? Today, Erica and I are in the beautiful city of Amsterdam for a little exploring, a little adventuring, and most importantly, some game hunting. And you guys get to come along with us. All right, folks, our first stop here is going to be Game Mania under a little bit of construction, but let's check it out. is just like finding alternate artwork like how about that Zelda Breath of the Wild cover art I absolutely love that favorite game ever by the way look at this I found the only GameCube game on the entire shelf Shark Tale for five euros now of course all the prices in here are going to be in euros but they're essentially the same as dollars but you have to add like 18% or so so you can just do a little bit of mental math let's go check out some of the like switch systems I saw over here so like here you can see 279 euros for this used switch which actually adds up to a decent bit more than $300 so gotta say not the best bargain not sure if that is standard or if prices are especially high in this location well, I couldn't find anything super interesting in the PS2 section, but it is worth noting that the cases in Europe for these are actually blue. And also found some interesting alternate art for TAC. Uh, what is this? The uh, Power of Juju? I honestly... Decrocked Bon Juju. You guys will have to tell me in the comments. And folks, we have confirmed apparently there are PlayStation 5 shortages in Europe as well. Well, Erica, what were your thoughts on that first store? Just like GameStop. Just like, yeah, we were noting that it was eerily similar to GameStop inside to the point where I'm wondering if they're somehow like affiliated. Maybe they just don't have GameStops internationally. I'm not sure, but looked exactly the same. So one cool little Amsterdam fact that we learned about yesterday is you see on the top of those buildings, those like beams with hooks on them up there. Well, a lot of these buildings are like 400 plus years old. And apparently before they were super expensive apartments, they used to be warehouses and those used to be pulley systems for how they would get like their inventory and heavy stuff up to the higher levels. So as we wait out the rain here under this lovely tree, I did want to share another fun fact with you guys, and that is that I think I'm probably the only one in the world that didn't realize this, but Amsterdam is like the most bike-friendly city I've ever been in. Like, bikes seriously probably outnumber cars like 25 to 1. But the interesting thing is, it's also a canal city. And where those two things converge, as we learned yesterday, is that apparently Amsterdam has an entire team of full-time divers that all they do is fish bikes out of this canal. And because the canals extend in rings around the entire city, apparently they're able to find 40 to 50,000 of them in this canal every single year. So in the spirit of this bike friendly city, why don't we bike on over to our next video game store? Folks, next stop is Game Over Video Games with one of the coolest window displays I have ever seen. This bodes well for what we might find inside.
Okay, so unfortunately this store was super small and had really loud music going on, so I wasn't able to do any actual commentary in the store, but I thought I would come in here and uh, tell you guys a little bit about what you're seeing. wanted to apologize to all the Sega fans out there. I know I don't really do the platform justice. I'm just not a Sega guy. I didn't really play it, but I uh, wanted to get some shots of that and the Atari. Then how about this Commodore 1541? I'd never even heard of that thing. This place had some really cool, unique consoles. Look at this Supervision. Does anybody know the history behind this handheld? It totally took me off guard. So did this white GameCube for 150 euros, or what would that be, just shy of 200 bucks. They had a really solid GameCube selection as well. I was surprised to see that and check out this Spice Orange GameCube controller for 87 euros or over $100. I thought that was kind of crazy. Had a great N64 selection. One thing that was uh, kind of surprising throughout Europe is they had a lot more Japanese stuff available, I noticed. That was definitely true in this section that uh, Duck Dodgers game there was seemed like a pretty decent deal at 30 euros. Those go for more like 60 or so here in the US. And I gotta say, it also kind of surprised me how great of a boxed game selection they had for just about every console I looked at. By the way, check out these Famicom games. That's one thing, another Japanese uh, item there that we just don't have a ton of in the US. Had a couple 75 Euro Game Boy Colors down here, and then somebody please tell me what this Game Boy Advance is. I am racking my brain, I cannot figure it out. It had Fighter EX or something on there. Not a ton to write home about that I saw in the Game Boy section, but there was a boxed GameCube controller, uh, which I don't remember ever seeing. I don't know if that was a Europe thing. And then this was my favorite section of all. Just get a look at these new on the card Tamagotchis. I thought these were so cool. Some of them ranged up to like two or 300 euros. It was absolutely crazy. And then an entire shelf, multiple shelves here, actually dedicated to different kinds of tiger-like handhelds. Couldn't even begin to try to speculate what all of these are, but I thought these were absolutely fantastic to look at and made great shelf candy. Was really happy to see them. Wow, so game over video games. What an absolutely phenomenal store. Spent a good amount of time in there. Wasn't able to do a whole lot of talking or anything because there was loud music. I'm sure I'll throw a killer voice over in there. The owner was really cool too. He said that they had been in that location for over 30 years. I actually offered to put him in the video as well. He said he likes to keep a little bit of a low profile but did say that I should go ahead and shoot a whole bunch of shots in the store so that I can make the store famous on the internet. So if you guys are ever in it, Amsterdam definitely stop by game over video games and tell them that you saw this video I think that'd be really funny and while I was in there there weren't any games that like really grabbed me that I really had to buy but I did want to get a couple of Pokemon figures just to commemorate the event show a little bit of support for them because they were really cool and so I got these two little guys right here that Erica hasn't seen yet and I wanted her to go ahead and almost choose her starter out of these two completely unrelated Pokemon so we'll see which one she actually likes oh, better <laughs> We've got Dragonite and Trico. Which one do you this want to be yours? Charizard. <laughs> no, that's Dragonite. Uh -oh. He does kind of look like Charizard though. I want this one. You're going for Dragonite, yeah. so Trico will be my little memento from our Amsterdam <laughs> video game store adventure. <laughs> and folks, that's going to be the last of our game hunting adventures for the day, but we'll leave you with a few more shots of our Amsterdam adventures. Folks, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we will catch you guys. We're gonna throw these really high, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> On the flip. <laughs>